Hi, my name is Deborah L. Welty. I am a certified teacher of decorative art at Jubilee Junction Art Studio. My website is koalityart.com. Many of you have requested, how do I get patterns on fabric? So today I'm going to show you. You want to choose a, your type of pattern, whatever it is. You want to have some tracing paper. And I've already cut mine small enough to fit on here. And I've already traced it. But you're going to lay your piece of tracing paper on your chosen pattern. You're going to trace around it with a permanent marker. I really like the Identipen pen because it has a fine end and an ultra fine end. A regular ballpoint pen does not work very good on the surface of the tracing paper and a pencil tends to be kind of light. So trace your design onto the tracing paper. Make sure you sign your name or initial it. Flip your fabric up, your, your pattern upside down and then flip your tracing upside down as well. Then you take a general 6B charcoal pencil. I know they do make other kinds of charcoal pencils. I have found this one to work the best. And you will trace the lines again with the charcoal pencil on the back side of the tracing. After you're done with that, you can move your tracing aside, but keep it in view for when you're painting. And then you want to spread your surface out nice and smooth. With a shirt, a lot of times um, you want it on a hard surface to put the pattern on. Uh, I may even put my canvas panel in first before I put the pattern on, but I don't have to. Or working on a tote bag. A tote bag is already nice and firm and it doesn't need anything in it. But to do this black of a surface, I will use the General's Charcoal White Pencil. And I'll show you that as well. I keep my pattern right side down because the charcoal will smear. And I look around to see how I want, would want to place it. For a little butterfly like this, I'm going to place it so it's flying off of my shirt. If I wanted to use my design more pansies, I would keep it so that the bulk of the design is right here, keeping in mind the armhole edges and the neckline. You want the pattern to start three to four fingers below this neck edge on a crew neck t-shirt. After I've decided the placement, which I think will be about in here, I drop the pattern. I take a bottle of fabric paint and I prefer DecoArt So Soft fabric acrylics. I hold it firmly with one hand. I set the paint bottle down and I pull across the pattern and I'm using a lot of pressure. You can reuse this pattern many times. The one I'm working with right now has been used several times for the filming of my How to Paint on Fabric the basics, which tells you absolutely everything you ever wanted to know about painting on fabric. And you see I can peek as long as I don't move my hand and I check to see that I didn't get all of that. If I want to get this edge better, I put the paint bottle down firmly, pick up that hand, move this hand, set this hand down, and then I continue on with this side. That will help me not to have double scooting lines. And there you've got a perfect transfer. The same holds true for black surface. I have already charcoaled the back of this butterfly with the white charcoal pencil. I will place it in the middle of the bag and I will pull away from my hand and I've initialed this one so I knew which side was down. I will anchor it, move my hand, and finish the side. And I've got a beautiful tracing again. If you have any questions, you can find me at koalityart.com. Thank you.